Today, we're going to be looking at the five best class setups in Modern Warfare 3. And I've tested so many classes for every single weapon in this game that I really truly think these are going to be the five best classes you guys will use. Now, we got guns like the MTZ, we got the Bass B, we got the MCW, we got a lot of guns on this list, a lot of good ones that you guys are going to like. And we're going to get straight into it right now. I don't want to wait any longer. So let's, let's just hop into that. Now, the first one that I'm going to talk about is going to be the MTZ 556. Now, this class right here, I like a lot. Normally, I don't run Engineer Vest. I threw it on this one, you get two stem shots, but you also get a fourth uh, perk, I guess, if you want to call it right here. So it's really awesome. You get two gear choices here, and Tack Mask is really great, especially on small maps where all people do is throw stuns and flashes everywhere. Ghost, Covert Sneakers, Assault Gloves, obviously the two stems, and then we got the actual class right here for the MTZ. So this gun right here is really awesome. I'm trying this out, all right? I'm trying this out. The Jack BFB. This is the new one, apparently. The gun kick control, vertical recoil control, everything is just so much better okay so the recoil gun kick control is 60 percent the horizontal is 20 and the vertical is 40 so it's really good you're losing a lot of ads at 13 percent and sprint to fire at 10 percent but it's really good now you, the only thing is when you shoot this gun people will see your direction and red dot on the minimap so it kind of sucks having this and i'm testing it out so far so good the barrel is going to be the mtz drifter heavy long barrel this gives you bullet velocity and range aiming idle sway recoil control and gun kick control so this is actually a really nice one right here now i would say this one might be worth using as well the rowan xl but this one right here just for that range and everything that you get with it i think it's worth it all right you're getting effective damage range at 28 percent minimum at 28 and bullet velocity at 14.7 so it's really good honest to god really really nice then for the barrel or sorry, the underbarrel, we got the X-10 Phantom 5 handstop. This is going to give us that sprint to fire that we really need, as well as that ADS that we really need, because we lost a lot of those on this gun. It's nice to get back. Vertical recoil, gun kick control, those are just bonuses to this attachment. Now, we're losing some horizontal recoil with this, which kind of sucks, because this gun isn't just straight up when it shoots. It does kind of go a little to the left and stuff, so it kind of sucks, but hey, I mean, we got that ADS back at 8.1% and the sprint to fire at 6.3 while still getting vertical recoil and gun kick under control so it's really nice now i put a stock on originally i had an optic on and obviously you guys already knew what i threw on there's the mk3 reflector but i took off the optic and i put on this the marauder stock for recoil control and gun kick control again it just it's a lot all right so the the gun kick is 21 percent and then both vertical and horizontal are 8.5 you're losing no ads and you're losing just about three percent sprint to fire so really not bad and then the final attachment is the rear grip and this is the bruin tr24 assault grip for a lot more gun kick control recoil control and firing aiming stability we're just getting a lot like 10 7 7 right there it's really nice honestly it's just a very solid class now this gun even with the jack muzzle on as you guys can see it still is a little bouncy so you can just imagine what it, how it would shoot see i missed a lot of shots there you could just imagine how it would shoot if i didn't put on the jack bfb so that, yeah it, it's kind of worth it so far but i just don't like the fact that i'm visible on the map going to another weapon i want to head on to the holder 556 okay i don't talk about this gun enough it's just i wasn't really crazy about it at first but once i made the right class this class i realized how good this gun could actually be so before going into the attachments let me just hop here and show you guys that it is accurate it does bounce a bit upwards because well it's the holder it does do that it does have some sort of kick to it but we put it under control while still being kind of quick and not losing too much ads and all that so the barrel is the cryos 6 match this one's going to give you recoil control gun kick bullet velocity you guys already know it's just it's a lot as you guys can see right here it's a lot the effective is at 20 the minimum is at 20 and the bullet velocity is at 10.5 we're losing sprint to fire at 4.8 that always does suck and ads at 11 that does suck as well but we're getting a lot of recoil control as well with this class right there so it's kind of worth it the under barrel is going to be the ftac mcp Again, you're getting a lot of stuff that's going to help you actually control all that vertical recoil and stuff like that. Now, we're not losing any ADS or sprint to fire, and we're actually gaining mobility with this one. We're gaining movement speed, crouch movement speed, and ADS movement speed. So I think it's kind of worth it. Definitely worth throwing on right there. Then we got the MK3 reflector, of course. And then finally, for the last two attachments, we got the RB Adel Assault stock for a lot more gun kick control and recoil control. As you guys can see, 13.6 horizontal and vertical, and then 9.4 gun kick, which is really, really awesome. And then for the final attachment, we got the Morn 20 grip. Again, we're not losing sprint to fire, we're not losing ADS, and we're getting a nice amount of gun kick, horizontal, and vertical, all at 10%. So really worth it. 
really, really worth it right there. That class is awesome. I want to talk about the MCW next, and then we're going to probably go on to the Swarm after that. But the MCW and then the Bass B. The MCW, this class I already shared with you guys, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because it's pretty much the exact same class that I just gave you guys, I think, yesterday. So I don't have to go into too much detail about it. If you guys want that, you can definitely go check it. But here's the class on screen. Everything is worth running, and it's just overall, it's an insane class. I guarantee you guys, once you bring this thing into a multiplayer match, look, it's not slow. It's not slow. It's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest, and it has, like, no replay. Like, I actually, I over-adjusted. I, I pushed down a little too much there. So I go here, I'm barely even focused on aiming down or, or controlling the recoil, I should say. You guys saw it. every single shot hit at long distance, mid, and close. Right here, I didn't have to barely touch my right joystick. Really nice having that on right there. So this class right here, go ahead and use it. If you guys want to hear more about why I chose every attachment, there's the video I uploaded yesterday that you could check out for sure. Now, another class that I want to talk about is the WSP Swarm. The, on the WSP Swarm, I chose to have two lethals on the tactical. It's my Russian class. Sometimes you have to reload this gun. It shoots fast. So when I have to reload it and, and I don't want to pull out my secondary or something, I got throwing knives on. I'm pretty good at throwing knives, so I like that, obviously. And I got assault gloves, covert sneakers, and ghosts. So definitely worth using right there. Now, this class, as you guys can see, using some modern warfare 3 attachments which is really worth it this one right here is not going to be the most accurate class especially at long range it's going to be a good at close and mid but once you get to that long range I, I wouldn't recommend using it all right guys first of all we don't have enough bullets we got 32 okay so it's not worth running for long distance but the barrel is going to be the pestilence 12 short this one is going to give you recoil control and gun kick control even though we're using this class for close and mid-range we want to be able to control that recoil we don't want it to be bouncing all over the place we're not throwing a sight on this gun so we're relying on that big thick iron sight that it has you don't want to rely on that so anyways gun kick control 17 and then horizontal and vertical both at 15.3 we're losing 24.7 ads that might look like a lot but let's be honest guys it's not a lot at all this is a very small gun ads is very fast it's very light so i wouldn't worry about that the underbarrel is going to be the shark fin 90 for aiming idle sway that's all you're getting with this okay you're not getting anything else with that and in all honesty it's only when you're aiming down sights it has nothing to do with when you're shooting the weapon but i feel like i need this because when i'm aiming down sights with this gun if i don't have it on i find it kind of bouncing all over the place but i'll give you guys an option here if you want to take off this attachment go ahead and take it off and what i would recommend throwing instead is probably a larger magazine maybe like 50 or something like that so if you if you don't want the shark fin go ahead and take it off now we want to make this gun a little quicker so the vlk laser is going to do that it's going to give us ads at 4.1 which is nice and sprint to fire at 5.4 so we lost a lot of ads before we're slowly getting it back with that attachment right there but I mean, hey, we're probably going to lose it again. We are going to lose it again with this attachment. The FSS Fortress Heavy Stock. This gives you gun kick control and recoil control. 28% gun kick. If you don't have this on, it's bouncing everywhere. And then 14.4 for horizontal and vertical. We're only losing 1.9%. ADS and 6.1 sprint to fire. So, I mean, it's a lot of sprint to fire, but hey, the ADS, I don't mind losing that. Then we got the Marauder Grip for the final one. Again, 10 recoil, gun kick, and 7 horizontal and vertical recoil. So, worth it. No ADS loss, no uh, sprint to fire loss. Really nice, really awesome. That's that class right there. And for the final class, I saved the. I got hiccups. Every video I get hiccups. So why? Anyways, I saved the best for last. And this is the Bass B. I love this class. I, I really, honest to God, love this class. If it was if it was meant to like, I don't know. I just find like it's it's great on multiplayer. It's decent on Warzone. I'm missing my shots because I'm not even focusing. It's decent on Warzone. It's just not good on ranked. I don't know why. I just I can't play with it on ranked. I think because my play style is so different on ranked, which by the way, I'm currently on a 16 win streak, so it's going good, it's going good. But I mean, hey, this gun right here on ranked, it's just, it's not for me, you know? I don't even think I tried it yet on ranked. I, I think just like one game, I might might have used it and like died twice without getting a single kill. So I put it away. Anyways, the barrel, we're going to be using the Crippling Malice Light Barrel, undetectable by radar, which is awesome. We don't have to use a muzzle. ADS and Sprint to Fire. Now we're losing effective damage range, minimum damage range, and bullet velocity. Don't worry about that, guys. It looks bad. It's I think it's not even a difference of a bullet. It's really worth running We're gaining ADS at 9.4 and sprint to fire at 10. So it's really good The DR6 hand stop again This one's gonna give us a lot of movement mobility and stuff like that and a lot of handling Which is the ADS at 7.6 and the sprint to fire at 9. So it's really awesome And I, I always recommend running that one 30 round mags. It's it's needed man 20 is not enough on this gun 30 is where it's at. That's what you want to run the MK3 reflector because hey yo you guys already know like 
I'm, I'm gonna take it off for an example here. Actually, let me talk about this last attachment first, and then I want to show you guys something. So the STT88 grip for the rear grip, because we we need a lot of uh, gun kick control and horizontal recoil and vertical, which we got seven of those, and then the gun kick we got ten with no negatives whatsoever. So definitely go ahead and throw that on. Now I want to show you guys something. Just watch how easy it is. So let, let, let's do mid range as an example. Okay, just watch here. I'm gonna shoot out the lower stomach and stuff. I didn't mean to jump. Oh man, we gotta restart that. I didn't mean to jump. I don't know why I jumped there. But we're gonna aim at the lower stomach, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shoot. And you're gonna see, very easy to control. Every shot hit. It, there was a lot of visual recoil, but it wasn't too much recoil, to be honest with you guys. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take off that. I'm gonna come back here, and you guys are gonna see it's just not nice. The, the visual recoil is gonna look all over the place. Like, like we, sh we still hit the shots, but you could barely make out the targets when you have this, all right? So we're gonna do that again. You can't even make out the target. If you were to zoom in and slow down the video and stuff, you'll see exactly what I mean. That's why an optic is definitely needed on some of these weapons, just because of the amount of visual recoil they actually have but that's gonna be it for the video man if you guys didn't enjoy it drop a like on this one sub to the channel and let me know down in the comments below you made it this far by commenting actually let's let's figure it out together let's find a gun that i build the sidewinder comment the sidewinder is the best gun in the game we all know it's not and that's why we're gonna mess with people peace